everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're diving into another craftish distillery tonight. That's right. It's a limestone branch distillery tonight, and what we have from them is a nice single barrel offering. So before we you know, get into those tasting notes and value discussions, let's take a look at the bottle. There it is, the beautiful black and red of the Yellowstone single barrel program. This bad boy here comes in at 115 proof, compute, compute, 57.5% alcohol by volume. This is a fine wine and good spirits pick from the great state here of Pennsylvania. Uh, let's see, what else we need to know in here? Uh, it was barreled on 11-20-2017, making it five years old. Other than that, you know, bottled in Asian Kentucky, bottled by Limestone Branch Distillery. So. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I, I believe this is their own juice. They're not sourcing this anywhere. Um, this is really my first foray into Limestone Branch Distillery. I've kind of always avoided their 93 offerings. I hear they were kind of polarizing, but there generally seems to be a lot of love here for these single barrels. Price on this bad boy in PA, $69.99. So $70 a bottle. Uh, kind of a little high for a five-year-old bourbon. I mean... We can get 1920 for 55 here, and that's probably five years old, and it's also 115 proof. But, you know, good looking bottle. It's got the embossed limestone branch distillery there. One thing I hate about this bottle, though, is this skinny little. This cork is. It's wooden, but it's like shellacked. And it's so thin that it's actually hard to pull up. I've never seen a cork that thin on the wood, so. Limestone Branch Distillery, if you're watching this, uh, do a better job with the corks, please. So, obviously this is a single barrel, so you know your results may vary. But tonight, we'll give you a few nosing and tasting notes, and then we'll discuss should you or should you not buy it. Alright. Take a look at that there. It's, uh... You know, disappointingly light in color in the glass for a barrel strength single barrel. Little uh, not happy about that. The color is a little too light for my liking. But five years old, what are you going to do? All right, let's get into the nosing. Immediately, like I'm, I opened a fresh bag of rolls. Very bready. A little, little bit of. A little bit of singe to the nostril hairs on this one. I guess some caramels. No oak, but we're not we're not surprised on a five year old bourbon for that. I just get like some caramel sweetness, some honey, and just like a just an old fresh bag of rolls. All right, let's take a sip. All right, off the palate, um, it's not bad. I get a little bit of fruit up front, followed by like some honey, just a touch of cinnamon, and then that rolls note kind of goes on through. Uh, you know, mouthfeel, finish to medium. Uh, finish is, is medium. It's not a short finish, not, not super long. It's not unpleasant to drink. It's pretty good. We'll do one more, uh, one more take at it here. Still getting like uh, mostly the bread notes, some honey. Maybe just maybe just the, the lightest hint of fruit on the nose. Now, let's take another sip. Sweet, easy sipper. If you like honey and bread, right up your alley. It really is. Value. Hmm. I, I'm not getting a ton of youth notes on it. I don't get that. Value though, I think is. Poor. Uh, unfortunately, it's just kind of generic. 
um, in its taste. It doesn't wow me in any way. And for 70 bucks, $70, we're talking Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof territory. Um, we're talking Elijah Craig barrel proof. I mean, we're talking heavy hitters that are, you know, double the age of this. Uh, I mean, just a lot better. For 70 it's not worth it. Maybe that's a, not a popular opinion, but I think it's good if you want a sweet, easy sipper. But all in all, it's not a good value at 70 If you can find these for like $45, $50, I'd say that's an okay value, but not, not for $70. I would, I would not be buying one of these again. And in fact, let's take a look at it compared to 1920 All right, got my little, little mini 375 of 1920 here. Let's crack this bad boy open. We'll get the old gold Glencairn here. Pour that up. Now, for those who don't know, 1920 goodness from Old Forester coming in at 115 proof, exactly the same proof. Uh, no age statement on this, but they heat cycle the warehouses. And $55 here in PA, so a good $15 cheaper. Oh, the nose is darker. Got a little bit of oak, some fruit, tons of caramel on the nose of this. Just traditional kind of old forester nose. Let's take a sip. That just straight crushed the Yellowstone single barrel. For my PA viewers, I know there's about three different picks of the of that single barrel floating around. This was 115 proof. It was the hottest um, of the three that were available. Don't buy them, honestly. Go buy 1920, save yourself the $15. That's better. Now, if you want to support a craft distillery, go buy Wilderness Trail instead. Here's a Wilderness Trail pick. Also, like 55 bucks. Cheaper than that Yellowstone. And four years and eight months. So a little bit younger. And this one's 112 proof. We'll put this one in the blue. Both better looking bottles. Um, this all, you know, Wilderness Trail also has that similar kind of a, a like a fresh rolls note to it, but it also has a lot darker profile to it than the Yellowstone. There's a lot more caramels coming through. The nose is better on the Wilderness Trail by far. Let's take a sip. So enjoyable. Longer finish, thicker mouth feel. Again, smokes the Yellowstone single barrel. So, should you buy this? No. In my opinion, skip these. Um, if it's your favorite thing out there, that's great. If you haven't had a Wilderness Trail, to me that's better. Pick that up. One of the cash drinks, not their 100 proofs. Um, if you haven't sampled this next to a 1920, do yourself a favor and do that because the 1920 is better. <laughs> so, all in all, it's not bad in flavor or taste, but it is a bad value. So, this is a do not buy tonight and, uh, you know, unfortunately rating wise, because of the price, I give it a D. If it was cheaper, I give it a C. It's just average run-of-the-mill five-year-old whiskey. Um, nothing special about it. So if you like what we saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. I just passed 500 the other week. We're, we're shooting for that thousand, everybody. So help out if you can. Thank you. Have a great day, everybody.